How y'all doing today? Uh, this is gonna be such a short video. We're gonna skip the intro and just dive right in. Um, I'm working on the search box from Hack the Box, and uh, I've got this uh, LDAP domain dump. And so here's a list of all the users in a nice, pretty uh, word or uh, HTML page. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to generate a list of these SAM usernames so that I can password spray. And so I've also got here uh, domain users. Uh, dim domain users dot JSON. I've got this JSON file here with each user here represented in a big blob of JSON. Um, and so it's, you know, obviously there's a bunch of stuff here. We can do a word count on that, uh, you know, 10,000 lines, right? Okay. So I want to get, I don't even know how many users there were, but like 40 or 50, um, maybe less than that, um, 20. I want to get those into a file, right? So we're going to use JQ. JQ is an awesome tool for parsing JSON data. So um, the way I, out of habit, I always start with a cat. I don't know why um, you can, you, you could, Put this in other ways but you know cat pipe into jq and let's just start with jq dot and take a look at what that does and i always like to pipe it when i'm working with it into less to get started um so all it's done here is it's printed it out nice now if you get the jq that's like all on one line this will like spread it out and pretty print it that's 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 certainly nice um you can do things like jq minus c which will can put each record on one line in this case there's only one record it's one long um it starts off as one long array so now i get it on one line um, so there's times you might want that. We don't want it right now, so we're gonna get rid of that. Um, let's go back to our less. So looking at our JQ uh, data here, it starts off with an array. And I bet if we go to the very bottom, uh, well, talk to me for a second, it ends, it, you know, that ends with that closing bracket. So we want to loop over all the items in the array. And so the way we're going to do that is we're going to, we're going to put our, our selection criteria here in quotes, and we're just going to put the, um, open close bracket. And that says, loop over all the items and then I'll put the items one by one instead of an array. Um, so if we do this, you can see now we're no longer have the array start, but otherwise it looks basically the same. Um, and if you, if we scroll down here, you can see here's the end of the first item and the beginning of the second item, and that's okay. They're actually unrelated items at this point. Um, but that's fine. Um, interestingly, we can go back and do our dash C now, and now you're going to see we get one record per line. So if you wanted something where you were trying to store like in a greppable format, um, maybe you'd want to do this, put this out into a log. And then later when you're going back and trying to grep for a certain user, you could get their entire record for one thing. Um, so that's that. But we don't want that now. So let's go back up. Um, back in here now, everybody, each user starts off with this attributes thing. I don't know if there's anything else or if it's all attributes. Oh, and, uh, and a DN. So we want to get the attributes. Um, so what we're going to do is come back up here and just do dot attributes. I think that was right. And there we go. Now, now we've, we've widowed it down. That DN information is going to be gone. Uh, yep, no longer at the bottom. And now from the attributes, we want, let's see, where was the, um, right here, the SAM account name. Let's copy that. And we'll do the same thing here again. Come in here, put a dot, paste. And there we go. Now, interestingly, the SAM account name is turning an array. Um, I guess hypothetically, you could have multiple account names associated with an account. Um, so what we're going to want to do is let's let's use the same trick here to get that down to single um, items. Now, if there had more than one there, they would just you know be in our list, and that's okay um, for at least for what I'm trying to do right now. Um, and this is looking pretty good. The big question I have now is I don't really want these uh, quotes or speech marks here on the end. Um, and so this is where I can use the uh, dash r flag in JQ for, for raw. And now it's just going to print them out raw. Um, so if you read my blog post, you may have seen me often do something where I like uh, curl against an API and then I type the results into JQ, maybe some selection and then a dash R to just get like, maybe I'm trying to read a file or something, you know? Um, so that's what this is doing. It's removing all the, it's putting out just the raw values. So anyway, um, back here, this looks like exactly what we want here. Um, so we'll come in here and now we can do this to uh, users users.txt and now we've got our file and we can go and password spray so anyway i uh, hope that was useful and uh thanks for sticking around to the end and i'll talk to you next time bye